going on everybody it's your boy destroy coming at you started up the new channel uh figured it would just be better to keep one content on one channel one on the other that way if anyone comes for football they don't have to go through all my gaming stuff and if anyone comes for gaming they don't have to see any football stuff so just made a new channel just made it simpler for me in my opinion uh so what i'm just going to be talking about today is the Browns versus Jets game. So what I kind of want to do with this channel is one, it's just going to be a lot of DFS. So talking a lot about who I like, who I don't like, injuries, all that stuff. Uh, most of it's going to come out in the evening after I get off work. Any breaking news, stuff like that happens. I'm try to come out with a video a day and then I'm going to have a video come out on Tuesday about Monday's game, Friday about Thursday's game, and then... I might have a video come out Sunday night, probably Monday then. I might make a video Monday about the games that I watch Sunday. Definitely going to be Sunday night, uh, Sunday afternoon, and one of the mint games. It just depends on whoever I, I have more interest in. Um, I'll watch that game. If the Bears are on, I'm probably just going to watch that. Uh, just like that. So uh, what I wanted to say off the bat is I lost so much money. Uh, and not a lot, actually. It's like twenty, twenty-five dollars, but it, it it's a lot on a showdown. Okay. Uh, at first, I was winning about eighty dollars, and then, uh, man, that Cleveland kicker screwed me. I should have picked him up, I guess. Uh, so the line that I ran with last night was I had Browns at captain Odell, Baker, Chubb. Ninja, Ninjoku, and then Griffin from the Jets. And I screwed myself too yesterday because I had Ty Montgomery in all day, and then I heard someone talk about how good uh, Semyon was with tight ends potentially, and that Griffin might get like five catches. Not Semyon. Oh, yeah, Semyon. And then it went uh, Falk. So, I mean, he could have had potential Semyon only through six passes, but yeah. Uh, so, right off the bat, what I want to talk about is Nick Chubb. Looks really, really good. If the passing game can get better, I feel like Nick Chubb can have more potential on what he can do. He had 18 rushes for 62 yards and a touchdown longest run last night was 19 yards. And he had four receptions for 36, yard, uh, 36 yards. In the longest was 13. He was targeted four times, so he caught all four passes. So he looked really good. Um, really good play yesterday, if you did play him. Solid player. I expect him to be just that good. Like, if there's one thing you can count on this season with the Cleveland Browns is Nick Chubb. Like, just going to be a solid player all season. Uh, next is Baker Mayfield. My boy. I am so high on Baker Mayfield this year. I've just been a huge Baker Mayfield since his senior year in college. So I'm riding that Baker Mayfield boat. He didn't he didn't play the best last night. And I think a lot of it has to do with Freddie Kitchen's play calling. So I heard they did have an offensive lineman or two down yesterday. And I think within the f first six, yeah, no, like the first two or three minutes and Joku went down last night, which also screwed me because I had him in every single showdown line. Like he was so cheap, so reliable. But he got hurt. Yeah, anyway. So Baker threw 19 for 35 last night for 325 yards. Had a touchdown and interception and was sacked three times for 20 yards. So what I see there is, this is why I'm going to say it's more Freddie Kitchens than Baker Mayfield, is because you have two, I would put Landry, not this year, maybe not last year, but when he was in Miami, He's a top 10 receiver. And then you have Odell, who's top five receiver. And then you have Nick Chubb, who's, like I said, if anything's going to be good on this team, it's going to be Nick Chubb. And you only scored 23 points against a Jets team whose best player was Jamal Adams, and Jamal Adams is a great player. But you had your middle linebacker, C.J. Mosley, also my favorite middle linebacker in football, injured, and Quentin Williams, who looks really good so far. Coming out of Alabama, so, you know. Anyway, but they kept, to me, it's just like, they kept, they sent one guy, seemed like, every play down the field, like, 40 yards, tried it. 
every play. And there were so many opportunities to just throw a little check down for six yards, throw slants. And they didn't do that. Like when you have a defense that's has two key players injured and their best player is Jamal Adams, you want to do everything in your power to keep Jamal Adams out of the play. Like Jamal Adams covered that deep pass almost every time. And like they ran for 18, they ran 18 times with Chubb. But like that's how you create the slants. That's how you do play action. Then they had Baker Mayfield roll out almost every freaking play. And that screws your offensive line because then the entire defensive line is just going to your quarterback instead of trying to keep them in the pocket more. Like trust your offensive line. Like I said, Jets are without their, I don't want to say star defensive line, but their reliable defensive lineman in Williams, who looked really good so far. First game he looked good um but yeah it there's no reason you should put up 23 points against a injured defense when you have that much star power so i'm gonna put 50 on bake no i'm gonna put about 40 on baker and 60 on kitchens because like i said that some of the play calling was just terrible that defense cleveland's defense did really good and even then, like, man. So, yeah, Odell had six receptions, 161 yards, and a touchdown. He had a great game. That was good for him. I'm happy for him, especially after what uh, Williams said. Ratley, who I guess filled in for Higgins, if you want to consider that. Two receptions, 50 yards. And then Jarvis Landry, like I said, three receptions, 32 yards. <laughs> There's no way you get that. Um, so we're going to look on the jet side. I had no faith in any jets besides Le'Veon Bell. If you wanted to take any jet, like you're crazy. You're honestly crazy. So Le'Veon Bell, 21 carries for 68 yards, 10 receptions for 61 yards. So yeah, if you had him in any PPR or if you had him in the showdown, probably the best play last night. So Semyon got hurt after Miles Garrett. Just destroyed his leg. It didn't look so bad at first, but yeah. So he's sent in their third string Falk. And in my opinion, like Cleveland's defense coordinator was just, I guess, playing smart. If you're up by that much or consistently up, like just don't let him throw deep. Don't give him any momentum. Just focus on Bell. But he threw 20 for 25 for almost 200 yards. Like for a third string quarterback who I think just got signed to the active roster the other day, that shouldn't happen. Like, how I like to look at it is, you look at the Bears last season against the Packers when they opened up, uh, I think it was the Thursday or the Monday night. They had a Monday night football. Rodgers got hurt, and then Deshaun Kaiser had a couple good plays. But other than that, like, Bears destroyed Kaiser. And for the Browns to have a really solid defense, in my opinion, like, they could potentially have a top five defense. I don't know if it looks like that after that Tennessee game, but like to potentially have a top five defense – and let the third string throw 20 for 25 is crazy. Granted, 10, 10 of those receptions were to Le'Veon Bell in a screen. Like, most of those were to screens, you know, short passes. But he still did throw for 200, basically 200 yards. So, it says a lot about the defense in a way there, too. I don't think anyone was hurt on the Browns' defense. Uh, Miles Garrett had a fucking great game though so yeah anderson had four receptions 81 yards crowder four receptions 40 yards ty montgomery three receptions 15 yards so yeah that game last night like i said lost uh lost 20 bucks on it should have got a uh, should have kept ty montgomery and i would have been fine i would have made an extra 20 bucks but it is what it is anyway guys that's my breakdown of the game my review and man, fucking Freddie Kitchens. Just not making it easy on anybody here with that star, star talent. Just kills me. Blows my mind. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Come out tomorrow will be the running back breakdown who I like on DraftKings for running backs this week. So tune into that video. Thank you, guys.